Yeah. Well, welcome to Opinionated Family. We're here. But let's have our conversation we was having off, off air. But I'm what I'm saying about how to how to my scientific like what I've been reading up on. There are three different there, like I said, there was three different species of humans. Neanderthal, I, I can't and H erectus, and there's another one. I can't pronounce the fucking name. I can't pronounce it at all. Uh high high Pythicus or Hibergenesis. It's supposed, you know, what happened was like the Neanderthals was like <laughs> eating raw meat and shit like that. And slowly <laughs> other species of humanoid species that were on the planet Earth start mixing with Neanderthals and shit like that. And that's how in, in the other species, that's how you get what you call modern day humans. You know what's interesting about that though is that how did we get different species of humans? That's that's interesting to me. Now, I'm not a scientist. I have no idea when we start talking about this stuff. I'm just more me. I just listen because both where y'all coming from, like I said, it's two different schools of thought, but they're both very interesting. Um, oh. And I'm just more interested about hearing more. But how did we get different species of humans? My my thing about the whole situation of what happened in the past and us not knowing is. <clears throat> First of all, I don't think we'll, we'll never know the truth by being here and just listening to other people tell us what they think the truth is because of just science. Because you, I feel like you, it's a you had to be there situation. One person could have been there, created a lie, destroyed whomever else, and continued that lie and built it, built a society and life off of a lie. They make movies about this shit all the time. People build their lives and stuff off a lie. Remember that uh, stories are told by the winners. You know what I mean? True. Every every story that you listen to is because somebody either won a situation or or they were there and they they're they're telling you their version of what happened. You know what I mean? And when it comes down to that, like think about uh, and I'm gonna just use. I'm going to use us as an example in our past and primarily myself. Okay. So me being born, obviously I have a mother, a father, I have, I have a family structure, but my family structure is, is close to a lot of those in our culture and community where my mother and my father weren't together and they had to raise me co-parenting in a, in a sense, but I was given to my grandparents. Um, they were my, they were, they were my parents. Legally, they were my legal uh, guardians, Leroy and Clara, until I became an adult. My, even though my father was my father, my parents, my grandparents legally had custody of me. And to this day, I don't know the real story of how I came to be where I'm at. You know what I mean? I don't know how my grandparents became the ones to give custody to me. Now don't now my older brother, he was raised by his father. And then my two younger brothers on my mother's side were raised by my mom. You know what I mean? So there's a scenario in there where at some point when I was around two years old, I was given to my grandparents or I mean, dare I say, taken from my mother. Who knows? I don't really know the truth. I would never say that, you know, my family took me from her because obviously she knew where I was and blah, blah, blah. But I don't know the real truth of that. You know what I mean? It's there's there's always two sides of a story. And my mom is going to tell me what she thinks happened in her mind and how she had to go about things. And then my father's going to tell me what happened in his eyes and how he had to go about things. My grandparents are going to tell me you know, a, a, a maybe more similar story to my father, but different aspects of how they view situations. But the truth is always blurred somewhere in there because I don't know whose story is actually correct. You would have you I would have had to be able to see it to know it. So with that being said, I don't know my truth of how I came to be where I am, which caused me to be who I am today. You know what I mean? A little lost, a little unknown, wondering why. Even at about to be 40 years old, you still have questions like, well, damn, how come my mom didn't take care of me, but she took care of my two younger brothers? What's my older brother's story, and does he know something of, of why? Because 
remember, I'm two. My older brother had to be like six at the time. You know what I mean? So what did he see when I was born? You know what I mean? And, and what we went through. There's so many different aspects of what could possibly be the truth. I don't know what's true or what's not. I have to believe in somebody. And it goes the same for the history of who we are, the history of how people came to be, not just in America, but on our planet, period. We only know what's told to us because we're not in the position to actually find the truth. But when we actually get a chance to, to, to if somebody was actually to tell us the truth of how shit came, I'm sure in my heart that what people are telling us isn't the same as what actually happened. You'll, you'll, you'll never know. You'll um, never know. There's two, there's two schools of thoughts and then I want to, and, and I'll throw the back, throw the ball back to, to both of y'all. And I think there's two different types of people in this world. There are people who will always question. I'm gonna always question you. I'm one of those people. I'm going to have questions even, even with uh religion, you know, I'm a Christian. I've been baptized and all that, but I always say like, I'm a Christian with questions, which I know is the opposite of faith. But my thing is I have, I have faith, but at the same time, there are certain things that I'm like, well, you know, did it actually happen like that? But I still believe in Jesus. I still, you know what I mean? And then there's people who are, um, this is what science states. This is what the facts are. Science is fact. Ma uh, mathematics is fact. I see that as fact. This is what was found. You know what I mean? Yep. This is what was found, and this is what I'm going to believe. Um, you know what I mean? And then there's people like me who are going to say, well, who gave you those results? Well, you know what I mean? So, but go ahead. <laughs> but, well, that's that's the thing about truth, the truth and fact for our science. Like, a lot of scientists that go looking for the truth, if it if they're if they go find some type of truth and it doesn't match up with mainstream scientists, those people usually get blackballed. Uh, they get their uh, not killed. They don't get their killed, but their careers their what? careers sometimes, but their careers most of the time their careers get killed. Like people may have um, you know certain theories or found certain things in like uh, Terrence Howard. Uh, okay, the, like, say the pyramids. Yeah, say the pyramids. How the pyramids came around, and and how they believe the pyramids is only to be four thousand years old. But if if you look, if you look at the technology, <laughs> the, the oldest pyramids could compare to the newer ones that was built. The technology on how to build them went down. Like they couldn't build the uh, the pyramids as they started building pyramids later on in life the fucking technology went down the the the, the size of the stones went down and everything like i never heard heard of a phone going like that's like you going from an android 10 note 10 back to a fucking uh I wouldn't do that anyway a switch phone a switch phone a switchboard phone like how does the technology go that way Lost. we've been there before though we that's did. because they they what was believed that what happened was um it was like a you know a great catastrophe and it was a, a civilization living before you know before that that would had fucking great knowledge of the stars mathematics how to lift these huge boulders like we don't even have the technology to lift some of these obelisks in, in, in Egypt right now so what they believed is when the um when uh when the meteor struck the planet and and it caused us to go in the ice age, what they believed it happened, the people that had this this high knowledge of how to build things and and stuff like that started mixing with the local hunter gatherers and started trying to preserve their knowledge through them. You know, keep they got like, stop mixing, not not mixing, but trying to keep their technology alive. You know, trying to keep certain things alive to how to do this and how to do that. Uh, you know, while surviving with hunter gatherers, that would be like us. If a, if uh, if a meteor was to strike right now, just I hate to say this, but look at COVID. When COVID happened, the supermarket shut down. We was like, how we're we gonna get our food and all this other shit. Like, if a meteor was to strike right now, like we wouldn't know what to do. You would have to mix with people. You would have to find groups that know how to hunt, mm -hmm. who know how to survive off the land. If a and media shit like itself, yeah, shit like your cell phones and TV, TVs Listen. and shit like that, would be obsolete because you can't use it no more. Nobody on earth, other than the people who specifically prepare 
is prepared for a natural disaster of the yeah. earth. No one yeah. is prepared. That's it. That's it. That's you well, either, nigga. None of us no, are prepared. But, but the, you know who would survive? Like the people, them lost tribes. We'll survive. Still, we'll survive, but you know who would survive with what more ease will be the people who live in like the, the Amazon jungle who are remo removed from humans. That, <laughs> I'm saying. Gonna be like, I'm thinking I'm like, what happened? <laughs> they won't, nothing it won't depends, change. It depends on the natural disaster, bro. No, but nothing won't change. It would be hard for them to possibly find food, but they know what they know where to look. Harder or easier. I mean, no, they they'll know where to say, look. Uh, they, no, they, the, they, us having us people in the jungle who don't have um, technology advances like we do are at a at a disadvantage. Because how? tell me more. I'm gonna tell you why right now. Yeah, if there was a natural disaster coming, we with technology know it's coming at some point. Whether it's a day, whether it's two days, however, however much time we know. People without any type of technology advancement, they're just living regular. And when they look up, something's happening. There's no time for them to do anything. They're going to try to escape. Some may, who knows, but they don't have the they won't have the know to prepare right then and there. What? You ever see? You ever see Greenland, for example? There's a movie I've, called I've, Greenland. I've seen it. I've, yeah. Once you've been done, I want a chance to rebuttal. But go ahead. Yeah, and and it's it's a movie about a. If you haven't seen it, Kevin, it's a movie about or who whomever hasn't seen it, who's listening and watching. Two, two. A meteor. A meteor is coming. It's it's the it's the it's called the the planet killer in a sense, and. The only way that they could prepare for it is they had to go underground, deep, deep underground. They made these shit. So when when the shit when the meteor hit the earth, wherever it hit, everybody was going to be gone from that spot. Their whole point was to try to get as far away from contact of where the main so, meteor was landing, which was Greenland. And they had little spots all over the world where they'd go underground. But you had to get to Greenland. You had to be important enough and have a status where you can do something to provide for this next life and this next journey after everyone, you know, if everyone survives and after everyone survives, you have to be able to bring something to the table, architects, scientists, doctors, surgeons, and yeah. you have to cultivators, you have to bring something to help rebuild who we were. Okay. But that I, only leaves what 10% of the population, 20% of the population. I got something for that. Go ahead, Drew. I'll let you go. I was going to say, there's there's two schools of thought there, too. You're also assuming that these motherfuckers are going to be honest about shit and tell, oh, let's tell them, let's tell the fucking world exactly what's going to happen. Or they're yeah, going to yeah. do exactly what they did in well, Greenland. Well, I mean, if there's a oh, media... If they're going to do exactly what they did in Greenland, which is, yo, some of y'all niggas can come, the rest of y'all niggas, y'all fuck. Those tribes have been around for many, many, many years, through so many renaissance, through so many... I'm not saying that they can duck a media... <laughs> I'm but. saying that they have their ways of knowing that some trouble is coming too. It could be something that you can never understand how, but it comes inherent to them. It could be the way the sky looks at a yeah. certain time. Wait, that shit purple. Oh, last time it was purple, this happened. Or we yeah. know if it get too purple, we got to do this. But they don't talk like me and you. They just got a way that they do things. So they have their ways to actually um, survive uh better than humans and 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 here's what we're talking about what i'm talking about the aftermath survival the aftermath of the because depending on what what it is it could be a flood it could be this it could be that the aftermath is where they're going to shine and we're going to be trash <laughs> okay i i hit you yeah. with one. say i'm hit you yeah. one not say a meteor but there's a thing uh, solar flares happen right solar flare if a big enough solar flares was was to happen maybe it cannot it could possibly knock out all electronics on the planet Earth, wipe it out completely. That would knock off. That would knock the gas. Now, not only knock out your electricity, how you get heat for gas in your house in the winter, all the supermarkets, all the meat in there will fail and uh, 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 spoil and rotten. You won't be able to start your car because it killed your battery. You get what I'm saying? All this should have like all that should happen. They will stand <coughs> a better chance of surviving in the woods because they don't have cars. They don't rely on electricity. They don't. They don't have even your running water. Your hot water heater has to pump water into your house, which uses electric. You get what I'm saying? All this stuff goes goes down. These people will most likely survive. A, a meteor can't. I mean, it's it, meteors. 
has happened to this planet before and, and people survive. And, and and not only that, people don't realize every year around October, November, we go through what's called the, the Kuiper Depression. Belt. It's, oh. We go through the Kuiper Belt. Basically, how a scientist explained this shit was basically the Earth is going through a sick going across a six lane highway with traffic coming. Mm-hmm. And every year the earth goes to the six lane highway of fucking, you know, a busy highway. We are avoiding cars. Yeah. Eventually <laughs> a car is going to hit us, I, hit the earth. I tell people this, or I told my wife this yesterday, cause I was just thinking, and I was like, we were talking about AI. And um, before I get to this story, I want to say that um, I think both of y'all have points. All of us have points. I think one point is about the initial impact and being prepared for that and the survival rate after. So I think we both, like, both of those are valid points. But one's about the impact and being prepared for the impact and one's about being prepared for the aftermath. But um, I think that not even talking about a planet-destroying um, issue, but even with the change in the way things are, I think that the world goes through periods of renaissance, right? I was scared of AI, or I'm still scared of AI. But the reason why I'm scared of AI is because it's going to change life as I know it, or as you know it. And I was telling my wife, I was like, yeah, fuck AI, because niggas going to lose their jobs. Niggas going to, like, it's going to do things that you might hold near and dear and say, man, I can always get a job doing that. Nah, throw that AI in that motherfucking truck and let that shit do it. And now we just sitting at home, like, what the fuck we going to do? Companies going to, they ain't even paying the AI. They're paying for it. Anyway, I say that to say our grandkids are going to benefit from that, right? Because by then, there are going to be jobs within those industries that are going to keep it going. Like, the world always adjusts, is my point. So you go through those periods of darkness. I know y'all heard of the Dark Ages yeah. um, or Ice Age. You go through periods of uncomfortableness. The Earth goes through these periods. Humanity goes through these periods of being uncomfortable for that long, and then they learn to adjust and survive, grow their numbers again, and then you get the new way of life. You know what I mean? So I do think that also happens after a natural natural catastrophe as well. If a meteor hit this motherfucker, the motherfuckers who survive, it might take these niggas a thousand years. Oh, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like think <laughs> about it. Think about it. Think about them a thousand years removed. From big cities and everything like that, having this because you you would have to loot, leave from the big cities because there's no game out here to hunt. There's nothing here to eat in these big cities. All the wow, nigga, what you gonna eat rats all day? Nigga, I'm looking at humans. No, I'm talking Drake, about. I mean, Drake no. yellow jackets. No. <laughs> oh, I ain't I see mean, that. I ain't watching it. I I'm pretty sure there was cannibalism, you know, cannibalism and shit like that going on. But survival, survival eat. Survive and eat human meat or fucking starve. What you doing? No, I'm saying it will be I'm that way. You, you think there'll be saying, no? You think there'd be no animals left? Period. It'd be animals, but th- what I'm, I'm saying asking. is, game like that, the hunt, the hunt, like the hunt shit, like birds and and, and deer. You're gonna eat whatever you get your hands on, cats, dogs, whatever. You eat whatever Sorry, you get dash. your hands on. I'm just saying. <laughs> Sorry, but, dash. I mean, you, what I'm saying, you you, you, you won't find people. It. People will leave. People will leave the big cities. The, the big cities will crumble because you gotta look at it. Builders need make bridges like that need maintenance every year. They just do on the Ben Franklin right now. The bridges will start to crumble and fade. Engineers. So say five thousand years removed the fucking if our technology and being in the dark, somebody goes technology starts coming around again and they start digging in the earth and they find a fucking they find like a, a cell phone like embedded in a rock. People are like, what is this? And you might find pictures and you'd be like, how do, what did they use these devices for? Oh, these devices look like they were able to tell time and nobody would know what a cell phone is. That's why they, um, you know what I'm saying? That's why like, like some of the technology lifting these boulders on the higher grifflicks, they got it written in a wall that they, um, they chanted or use vibration and shit like that. And, and our society can't understand that because we're, a uh, a lever and pull society. Everything is by lever, uh, you know, balancing weight and pulley systems to pull shit into place. They're like, how do you use sound to do anything? Like that's 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 illogical. 
that's just because we're not thinking outside the box. You ever heard about the person that used a uh, they used a certain vibration on a drill bit and they drilled it into a stone and it was going through the fucking stone like a hot knife through butter. They stopped the fucking vibrations and tried to pull that fucking that bit out of that fucking stone and couldn't fucking budge it. Yeah. They they they're currently right now some sign it's uh is a group right now from what I heard on the podcast is a group right now from the scientists that they are working on using vib using vibrations you know you know this like to move heavy objects they're currently in the works with that fact, it, like yeah. vibration vibration and I'll, I'll let Kev go I see he was trying to say something but like um I forget what they did it was on TikTok obviously um where they were trying to move. They were trying to move. They were hitting the little triangle at a certain frequency, obviously, or a uh, sounding rod at a certain frequency. And if you hit it at a certain frequency, the other one would move. That this is scientific fact. Uh. That's a scientific fact. It was also, um, see, that shit they used to do back in the day, like with um, with the pyramids and all that. All that shit was a really. It, it was to it was to um, harness the Earth's magnetic field to produce power and shit like that like yeah. this is there's some deep shit go ahead kev because I'm, I'm gonna just keep talking trick talking shit oh i mean i was talking about the, the lighter kev oh. I, mean, <laughs> I don't think i don't think enough credit is given to the 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 human race in general i mean yeah if we're if there's a natural disaster we're gonna go through the same periods that we always go through it's gonna be a natural disaster there's gonna be a chaotic period where shit goes to shits and it's a it's a dog it's a it's a real doggy it's dog coming. world and and then after everything turns to shits and shit crumbles and we don't have nothing we do what we always do which is persevere we learn we become what we have to be to survive in general if there if we have to learn to hunt we're going to learn to hunt i mean there's people around the, all around the world right now who hunt still to this day you know what i mean they're going to there's teachers and there's, there's always going to be teachers, there's always going to be leaders, and there's always going to be followers. You know what I mean? It, and that's what makes me think about our past and how they say we only use 10% of our brain, right? But why is that? You know what I mean? How is there, how is it, I mean, but, but in reality, there's a lot of shit that you question about yourself that kind of makes sense. You have dreams that seem incredibly real, that you that you're right there. Your mind is mind is creating shit. You have deja sure. vu. Around. You have deja vu where you're doing something and you felt like you've been here before. You know what I'm saying? And if you and and even though religion, like you were saying, it's it's hard to know what the actual truth is. I feel like in every bit of religion, there's a little bit of truth. Like somebody took their piece of the truth and went somewhere else with their piece, and it went all over the place. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We. Re Look at white Jesus. There's something within us that helps us and our brain make decisions to learn and adapt to scenarios of where we're at. Basic and that's what instincts. makes us different from any species yeah. in the world. You know what I mean? No matter where we are, we can we can figure out how to adapt. It's either figure out how to adapt or die. And not everybody's going to make it, but but more than likely somebody is and teach someone else. It's like that in every story. It's like that in our history, whether it be first man growing to be who we are today, whether it be slaves coming from one place to another and having to adapt and survive and, and become a, the more dominant race at this point, it, it doesn't matter what you view history speaks that we've survived and we keep surviving. The only way we won't survive if is if this planet is just gone. You know see, what I mean? See, well, if people, there's life, if there's life, we'll figure out how to keep preserving it. See, we do is what we do as humans. You speaking about religion and everything like that, and and, and text and shit we find like that. When we see stuff like that as we were talking about earlier about the universe, how big the universe versus, and and you can't fathom to think how. You know how big this shit is. Same thing will we'll come to reading ancient texts or, or or Bibles when they talk about God grabbed lightning and and threw lightning from the heaven and shit. Like you don't 
like you see that, you know what lightning is, and you're like, man, well, how, how can he throw lightning from the sky? That doesn't make sense. Where nowadays they got shit like a, a arc conductors that can fucking that we can control by hand that can shoot lightning around the glass bulb. Like explaining that to somebody who never seen it before, like how can you explain that shit to them? For them to understand, the best you would just try to dumb it down. So maybe the ancient text does hold like ancient technology that we didn't think was possible, but possibly was possibly was possible back then. But it just got laws, you know, due to the you know ice age and shit. When ice age happened and wiped this out, man, a lot of shit changed, man. When the ice age happened and, 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 and wiped the human species off the planet, like a lot of these, like these pyramids that's all around the world and shit like that these mega megaliths as they call them were built before the ice age and somehow when that ice age and that meteor hit all that technology how to build that shit was lost and they tried to like etch it in stone and 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 write it but like write it out for us to figure out how to re, uh duplicate it but you gotta also think like the language they was writing it, I'm pretty sure that language is is gone too. And how to perceive the symbols and shit, and how to read the symbols accurately. Because I've been seeing people go read like the the hieroglyphs. Like, how do I know what they know? What these fucking symbols really fucking actually mean? Question there is no. Everything. You get what I'm saying? There is no book like translating Mandarin Chinese to English. There is is words that are actually lost in translation. There's like certain like certain cultures doesn't have certain words to describe certain feelings mm -hmm. or, or things like that. And it gets lost in translation. So how the fuck do y'all know what these hieroglyphs say on this wall? Unless you had something to break it down and you can read it and you can interpret it. But you're still going to lose some of that in translation. Yeah, that's you also said, have to guess. yeah, that's why I yeah. said the truth is there's always a blurriness to what a person gives to you as truth. You know what I mean? All the facts are always there, especially when it comes to history. And you talking about hieroglyphics. These people, these people who were drawing these hieroglyphics were communicating to their own people. You know what I mean? They were teaching each other. You know what I mean? Yo, this. Uh, they probably weren't even using words. They drawn and pointing that shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And 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 That's putting trash. one and one. You know? Yeah. You know what I mean? And but that was their way. Okay, and, I'm who, a, I'm a, and who's to say that? Yeah, who's to say that up? we ain't been here all this time, and I and we got lost in our own yeah. translation? You, as the point. I'm, I'm about to fuck my head up. Is this <laughs> is, is, is 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 this figure, figure in, 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 in mine? Lore is called his name is Klepso Calypso. Calypso Calypso. Yeah, he came across the ocean. He came across the ocean on a on a Flying silver disc. on a silver boat that glided across the water. I heard of this. Yes. He wore white robes. He had a long beard. He had a long beard and and and, and he dressed in white robes. Yeah, it's Anunnaki. Same figure pops up in Christian religion, mm -hmm. but they call him Jesus. He, he's this all-knowing being that can touch you and God. heal you. No, no, Jesus. Jesus was that that figure. Think about it. He was this or God. He's this figure. Jesus walked or God or, or I would say God. It would be it would be God. This, this same figure. It. But all this this figure. <laughs> this guy pops up in a lot of other civilizations that they would come in these robes and they would glide across from these silver crafts that would glide and float across water. It came across like this. Basically, <laughs> think about it. Think about, no, but think Millie, about it, man. You know, that all that is, all it is is a fucking, all it is, all it is is called, is a boat. It's, it's, a, it's a motorized boat that comes across the ocean. Or, they don't know how to describe it, or maybe a flying saucer, but he, he stood on a, he stood on it. Or, 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 but they all yeah, this same like figure, this same figure, Clipso Clapso, appeared in a lot of other religions, but was mentioned in a different name. All had the white robes, the beard, and everything like that. Like, who's to say, like, you know, maybe there was some, like, like Atlantis or something like that really did exist and shit. Why else would it be in the hit? Like, that's here. Man, listen, see, look at look turn at, this into a whole fucking the, uh, theory. Look at, look at theory. Look at old maps. Old maps. Mm -hmm. It's some dude that drew an old map, and that shit was so fucking accurate to the T. It was, I mean, it was fucking accurate. Only thing that was they didn't see was accurate was the, uh, I think it was the coast of Antarctica. It was exposed. 
most of it was exposed. This is before this is during the ice age. This was all this was exposed. Mm. So when the ice age happened, them ice sheets drew up most of the ocean water and created a a mile thick um a mile thick a sheet of ice that pre pressed down on the earth that changed the uh the pressure from that changed the plates on the earth that lifted certain shit. A lot of islands were exposed at this time and everything. And when the meteor struck and caused the massive flood, that that map that they had is like we can't find this coast that we see here on Antarctica. The rest of this map is accurate, mm -hmm. but this part, but this map was drawn before the you know before the uh, the melting of the ice sheets. So what they think was happened was these ice sheets melted, raised the water level up, and raised that coast. Some people sure. believe that's where Antarctica. I mean, Antarctica Atlantis. was possibly a point Atlantis. of where Atlantis was at. Yeah. It's it's a lot of it's a lot of that shit, bro. And this goes into believing what they tell you, believing what was you know what I'm saying, and then labeling people. Yo, they ain't tell you about the bird, nigga. Bird, nigga. Bird man. It's a bird like the guy that you're describing, Kev. Clips of and, and, and other cultures, um, there's there's he has a different name, but uh, Horus. He's, he's a man with a Horus. Yeah. He nigga with a bird bird head. Yeah. Horus. Yeah. It's it's a lot. It, bro. It's a lot of that type of shit that before they gave us the, the science on everything, this is how things were explained. Who knows if that was a mask that he was wearing? Who knows if that's what a, that was an apparatus that he was wearing to breathe, you know, in our atmosphere? You really don't know where any of this shit really came from. You can't tell me that you can go from a steam engine to 50 years later, nigga, like, yo, I think I want to talk on a cell phone. Yo, you think we should put a cell phone out? Yeah. All right, all we need is this, that, and this. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, how does how does science go from <laughs> one point to the next? That's what, so rapidly. That's what Kev theory, extreme. That's what Kev, which, That's what Kev's theories make sense about possibly we being the aliens, not being I, the I, alien. I would, I would like I, that to be explained because we explain. I'm explaining. I'm explaining. I explain how I explain it because we was talking about the three different human. Your DNA is made up of three different humanoid species, right? Maybe the two species was the Neanderthal and whatever that was a part of this planet that was here. And maybe the people like Calypso Calypso that flew that had the god and shit or or the stuff the deities in, in India that 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 had fights in the, that had fights in the cloud that shot lightning bolts at each other and blew their 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 crafts up. Maybe yeah. there was aliens that got that landed yeah. here, came here, and like Kev said, got stuck with started interbreeding. Because our, our DNA is not too far interbreeding with the people that was here because it's like and teaching them our technology. And what happened was when they, they got stuck here, because if you if you look at one story it was uh, I think it's an Egyptian story. A meteor was was coming. A meet before the great floods happened, a meteor or something was coming. Uh, Egyptians, how they break it down? Something was coming from the heavens to punish the, the, the earth. And most of the gods left. They got on their crafts and they left. <laughs> a couple, like, yeah. yo. <laughs> a couple, yo. a couple, a couple of them stayed behind or got left behind and couldn't go. And that's when this punishment from from Nobody the cares. heavens hit hit the earth. I think Ra or something like the guy Ra was mad at the earth and punished the earth. I forgot. The how was, I think I, I, I'm sun. fucking it. I'm fucking it all up. I got to read up on it. But sun. but it hit it hit the earth and caused the caused the great floods. This let's say the aliens, a meteor, a big a meteor hit. Most of them knew it was coming. A couple of didn't escape, so they had to stay with these humans that they were trying to break out of these uh, ice ages. Because maybe these aliens came and had them like teach, teach, taught them how to build the pyramids and all these great temples <laughs> out of these out of these Bro, huge stones and shit like that. I and when a meteor hit, they just had to mix with these people because it's like I'm here, I'm stuck here, I can't go nowhere, I can't leave. I don't have the technology. This planet does not have the technology yet for me to leave this planet. I got. I'm probably going to be stuck here for thousands of years. Let me teach them and get these people up to speed so I get the fuck off this planet. <clears throat> There's stories, and I'm and I'm biting off. I'm 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 piggybacking off of what you said to help build what you say and and actually make a little cleaner version. There was there's there's you always hear stories of so. In, in different cultures, there's many different gods, right? There could be different gods. There's there's Zeus, Horus, like you said, Anubis. There's a bunch of them. Athena. There's there's like a hundred, there's like a hundred or more, right? So what you forget is that 
there were also demigods that walked the mm -hmm. earth because gods, the gods that they knew who would walk or do this that a third, they integrated with the humans on the earth, which created another human race in a sense, half God, half man, who who had the know-how to do certain things that not all regular humans could do. And they always looked up to these demigods, as, as they called them. But what if in reality, the people who were gods were just extremely intelligent beings that weren't from this planet exactly. They came down, mm -hmm. they mingled and had sex because, or, or created some Yo. type of offspring. And now these offspring grew to be in the possession of the know-how of what they, you know what I mean? They raising these, these children of theirs, they're showing them things that not everybody knows how to be shown. And then as people witness and watch, it seems to happen more and more common until we are where we are today. And think about it. There's people who have the ability to do the most amazing things in the world. I'm talking about amazing athletes. Yes. Uh, there's people whose brains are just incredible. How to figure out shit out See by just putting. I mean, just the shit is is just amazing how you can be on one spectrum of the human race and then be on the complete opposite spectrum of the human race. Right. You know, so you know, you know, by you, what you're saying right there, you know, a lot of people that uh, suffer from that are autistic and stuff like that. Most of them make up like NASA scientists and all that stuff because most of them are devoid of like, like discerning like cer certain emotions, like happiness and sadness and, and, and <coughs> understanding and sarcasm, everything to them is black and white in, in numbers. Right. So they're so they're a part, yeah, a part of their brain is active that just helps them figure out these huge math problems and everything. They get dedicated, they lock in maybe. Yeah. Like Temple Grandin. With yeah. um, with uh, creating like the more humane way to deal with cattle and shit like that, it's a great movie if you ever want to watch it. Uh, Claire Dane stars in it, but um, she created a more humane way to deal with like cattle, and and like you know the way that they was doing that shit before it was like really really crazy, and it bothered her to the point where oh, and she also um, she also like something. So w w when she went into her fits. You know, like um, being autistic, like she she liked being um, constrained, but not hugged, but constrained. So she built a unit for her to go in whenever she was feeling overwhelmed for her to, you know, and that's what helped her come up with the idea. But she got hooked on the whole like cattle and like it's really interesting when you think about it. But I do think that ties back into not just autism, but it ties back into thinking about why a person can really gravitate towards science because i can tell you right now like when it comes to science that shit goes it's over my head yeah not, not because i'm stupid it. but it's over my head and i i am interested in it but when it comes to doing a certain thing like i'm not going to create the next cell phone or i'm not going to create the next technology that changes the human race you understand but certain people are put in certain circumstances where something clicks in their brain and they're able to do that. To tie that, to tie that Elon back, Musk. right? They're they're a generation. They're a generation of them. Musk is a person who purchases stuff. He doesn't create the stuff. Yeah, he he's a visionary though. Yeah. There is a there is a you know a certain eye, but you, you, I think you mean Steve Jobs, which kind of did the same thing, honestly. Yeah. Um, so there are certain people Bill who Gates have that thing. part in them. You understand what I'm saying? Like, and I do think to tie that back to them just having a certain amount of God dust in them or alien dust in them kind of makes sense if you really think about it. What yeah. I want to know is how they picked the women that they wanted to impregnate. Cause I y'all think Neanderthals have fat asses. <laughs> like, how they pick them? I'm serious. I mean, how they pick them? I, I, I guess imagine if you come to a, a planet, right? They know not of clothes. They know not of fashion. Yo, I don't want you to talk like talk like the gods, yo. <laughs> they, I mean, they, yeah, they, they know, know not. Know. Of, they know not of clothes. <laughs> they know not of that fuck clothes. horses. They know not of so, of, of any type of fashion. They come down here. They see 
something that maybe entices them. Yo, yo, the nigga tapping the other guy like, <laughs> yo, I'll, let's name those titties. <laughs> <laughs> yo, but think, think about it'd be like them cowboys that be them cowboys hey. that be left left on the ranch. I had a liquid oh, come out hate, of those. Oh my gosh, I hate to break this story up. They started milking <laughs> no, women, I mean, uh, no. and they and they realize it's a horrible story. I gotta tell it. <laughs> it's, ahead, Kevin. it's involving Come my on. it's involving a family member, but I ain't gonna mention his name. But he's he's long gone, deceased. But my uncle told me this story. This nigga was on. A, he, was, he was a ranch hand, and he was just on the farm. It was no women on the farm. It was nothing for him to do. So he just out there on the farm, and he said one time he was. I think he said he was brushing a horse. And the fucking like, I guess he hit the horse pussy, and the horse backed up on him. This nigga said he started fucking the horse, started having sex with the horse, and the horse wasn't doing that, so he started hitting the horse with his arm and shit like that. And then you know, got the horse real excited and finished off in the horse. That's what I'm thinking that's happened when these guys land. You hear like, damn, we came here with no women. Why did we do that? Bro, what? That that's a legit story. That is, no. it's, it may be a legit story, but it's, it's fucked not, up. But it has I'm absolutely sure. positively but nothing. But I'm saying, listen, but listen, I'm telling you how I'm gonna I'm 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 bring it all in, bring it full circle. Yeah, please you, do. If you come from out of space and you forget the most essential thing to bring with you, which is a woman, and you can't go back and you're stuck here, you're stuck here, and you start looking at these other species, yeah, they. They may not be cute in the face, but they have the anatomy of the same women you have back on your planet. And you saying to yourself, you know what? I'm just going to throw this Neanderthal in this river real quick. Scrub her down. She possesses everything a woman has. <laughs> I'm just going to do it, man. You're it is what it is. Scrub in the river. <laughs> Scrubbing it down to fuck her down is crazy. <laughs> Put some clothes on. Here you go. I'm gonna teach they know not of clothes. They yeah, know but they had clothes, to teach them hygiene. <laughs> they had to teach them hygiene, so they like, yo, you gotta keep that box clean, nigga. It you know? took years for hygiene to actually be a thing. It took till fucking like a hundred years ago. Nah, fuck if you fuck. nah, nah. Egyptians, Egyptians knew hygiene somewhat. Somewhat, like they, they, you know, they, they Wasn't knew putting on deodorant and brushing. They put they had oils and stuff like that for their hair, <laughs> I give you that. their skin. I give you the oils and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they, they, they. they they had it's perfume, stink oil. yeah, perfumes and shit like that. But I'm saying, if Yo, you if you get stuck on a planet, if your if your species leave, and you know that is a rat, and say you are, let's say you because you're an alien, you can live up to two to three hundred years, mm-hmm. bro. After year one hundred, and knowing these dudes ain't coming back, and you a man. You will start looking at that Neanderthal, knowing it, it got the body parts of the woman that hundred years. Well, that man made twenty years. Shit, I give a month. <laughs> you give a month, but yo. Yeah. You see what niggas <laughs> do in prison at twenty years, <laughs> other dudes. <laughs> All right, y'all are trying to I'm tell me. Saying. Y'all are trying to right. tell me that the, I'm not that dumbing these it down, but intelligent I'm beings that are coming from another planet come here, and then after a month. First of all, these intelligent beings forget is, to bring the opposite sex. These intelligent beings right. forget to bring the opposite this sex. That's number one. So, calculated. okay. Yeah. Opposite. So, so, and then, and then you're well, telling me that after a month, these intelligent beings are well, just like, oh man, I need to no, get one off. If it's, you it's come with, it's, I'm it's, saying, it's not calculated. <laughs> but if you yeah. come with, if you come with 10 women and 20 men, it sounds like a game. You're going to be the odd <laughs> man out. You're going to be the odd <laughs> man out. Is also, one of the odd man. I, also, we're got... assuming the concept of love is yeah. is something that 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 makes sense there because that maybe the alien race doesn't have the concept of love. So they, they 20, only have the concept twenty men and ten maybe. men, right? Twenty well, twenty women and ten men doesn't really apply. Yeah, yeah. They just run them down the line and keep running them down yeah. the line. I mean, even even I mean, back in history when it came to kings, they had women on women. You know what I mean? And not even that, but imagine if you're a godlike being and you decided that you wanted to have sex with this other species that's similar to you. They're more than likely either going to be A, scared, so they're going to do it, or they're going to feel like it's an honor and they're going to want to do it because they either look up to you or they fear you. They don't know what, what other to do. You know what <laughs> I mean? So you already have the advantage of being a person that 
they don't have, they know that they can't compete with. So it's just like when it's like you beckoning someone, like, well, please well, go go get me that one, well, and they let, come and see. And, and if if the yeah, aliens, if we if the foreign race did have some type of affection like love or something like that. That shit could blossom by doing anything. You teaching someone to do something, they learning and and bonding, just regular shit. You know what I mean? Well, the, the Neanderthal. Is, Next thing is, you know, the they, woman's they was, stuck in the god dick, and, uh, yeah, and now, well, <laughs> look, well, they well, speaking of the well, Neanderthal species, most of them got most god of them got like killed. Most of them got killed off. Like it's not a it's not a big percentage of it of it in humans. You know, you know, in our DNA it doesn't make up a big percentage. Another thing that could also happen with Neanderthals is they was like back, they was, you know, humans, humanoid species and everything like that. And they was barbaric. Who's to say they wasn't going out and uh, raping, you know, taking the raping these gods and stuff like that and, and raping other species because to them, you know, sex is just sex. It wasn't like it was just a means of fucking getting somebody pregnant. They horny, they horny. But you know they so supposedly a lot of Neanderthals got killed off. But it's the other two species that make up more human, uh, what is it? They had more human like features. Like they they were closer to us. They wasn't the big, you know. That's why I said people that got a lot of Neanderthal in their species, they tend to be like they got hair on their back and everything like that. Hair on their chest. They're very they're very hairy. Gods came down and fucked gorillas. No, I, horny, not, horny look is also at also a human construct too. Um, so, I think when you when you, when we think in terms of a god getting horny, we're thinking about like Greek mythology. Yeah. The Greek yeah. mythology is like Zeus had to have this woman, and da, 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 da. I don't think they. If if these were the higher beings that we're thinking about, unless they were human from the future, future, future. If they were from somewhere else, then I don't think horniness is a thing. I think everything is calculated, and I think like it's not about that. Like even with animals, it's more it's about procreating. Let me actually. I am coming here to procreate. I'm not coming here because oh, I'm feeling it, girl. Like nah, okay. they don't think like that. Okay how how long you think how long you think it you think will be before we have maybe interstellar interstellar travel, meaning we can travel within our solar system. I ain't saying next galaxy, but just within our solar system. That's a really. I'm just saying. I, I, I'm gonna say within if we came this far in a hundred years, I'm gonna say within the next hundred years. The, okay. the reason being is because we're already trying to travel to Mars. Okay, say say a thousand years. In a thousand years, a thousand years. Do you think we will be able to remove our? wanting to be with another woman or lay with another woman, you think that'll be removed by that in another thousand years? It hasn't been removed in the first thousand years. You didn't hear what I said. No. I, said if, I said if we were humans or if they were humans from the future, then I would understand the, the horniness but, because that's inherent in us. But that's what I'm saying. But, but another say species, we, you're you, assuming you, that they get horny. Horny is a feeling. Well, I'm just saying they, they want to lay with a female species. Think about it. If we get under interstellar, interstellar travel within the next thousand years and say a hundred brave souls get on this spaceship and they go, two of them, two ships leave the planet Earth to go travel to this other planet and we find what's close to being a being like us and we get stuck there. You really think after a thousand years we're going to wipe out how we feel about the opposite sex or looking at look at the movie. Two, two things you just said and I think you keep you keep proving my point. You said Humans traveling. That's what I'm saying. Humans. But That's what say? I'm saying. Who just say we're we're not these other species from another yeah, planet? But so if we even came, then. if we came from another planet, if if our species is is a species that came from another planet, we're humans, not humans though. No, nah, it's not necessarily true, Dre. Because even with different species on Earth, when they're when they procreate. The female or the male does something to attract each other to make them want to procreate with that one particular being. And I see that that could be the possibility when something from another planet comes here. There's something that makes it attracted to want calculated. to be with that. Calculated. It, what I'm saying is if these beings were as far along as and I'm not talking about some I get it. If they're supposed to be humanoid, then you think they have humanoid feelings. But if they're 
doing what they're doing and it was all, you know, calculated. I don't think it's something like, oh, I've been stuck here for so long. I'm so horny, dude. I think it's like, okay, we have to change this, the genome of this particular species. This is how we do it. Hey, bring me 10 women. And that's what we're, that's how I'm going to do it. It's not about, she smells good. It's not about, yo, I'm feeling it. Yo, I got to bust this nut. That's Look what I think of when it comes to horny. No, no, no. Calculated, calculated to me is we have a job to do and this is how I have to do it. Look at the movie The Avatar. <laughs> Even though scientific, the dude went in the Avatar body, they still had that feelings towards the opposite sex. Even though it was a, they they tells they tells mingled or whatever they shit was weird, but they had that feeling. I don't, I, bro. That is a natural. Is I think it's a natural thing in all species on Earth. It, yes, on Earth, from what I know, is the the dominant species, the one that has the higher survivability, usually is the one who gets to mate. Usually, is the stronger, bigger line. A all female right. won't mate with a sick a sick. Listen. A female, a female line won't mate with a weak or sick, sick line because they don't want their next their cubs to be sick and weak. They need their species to survive, so they mate with a bigger and a stronger male to make, you know, bigger and stronger lines. Probably the same thing happened with the spe- the aliens at whatever land. Here's like, look, we're going to take some of the stronger, bigger, more fit humans. These are the ones that can produce the next line of our species to keep okay. us alive. You get what I'm saying? Maybe it was calculated like that, but you know, along the way now, now we just look at sex. Sex now is just like, man, it's just anything goes, it bring anything into the bedroom, use anything that can penetrate the off. other or get me off. It, it mm-hmm. sick shit goes on. Motherfuckers get off by choking themselves or just watch it. Whatever. It's just weird shit now. It ain't what it used to be. You know what I mean? It's starting to King lose shame. its value. Yeah. So I ain't king shame. I'm just saying it's losing its fucking value. But but for, for, but I'm just saying, let's just say we like in the next thousand years, we're gonna probably have interstellar travel. People always think of aliens, oh man, it got 20 arms and 20 eyeballs. And it's like, no, maybe that's like the species. But hmm. maybe that's the species that live on that planet, but maybe they're more humanoid featured because we got some <laughs> shit, we got some shit in our ocean that we find. And you'd be like, what the fuck is what the fuck is that? Like you look at like that shit looks alien. It looks like an alien life form. Yes. I seen the I see the jellyfish I seen in St. Thomas. I'm looking at this shit. It was clear. It was a clear jellyfish, but it had like these blue dots that fucking like vibrated throughout his fucking body. It was weird. I never seen nothing it like that. It was close to you? It was close to me. Oh shit. Hey, hit, I got stung on my elbow, actually. I got see? hit on my elbow. Yeah, I can't do that. Go ahead though. But I'm saying, I seen, yeah, I, I seen it. I'm looking at it like, yo, I never, like, I'm used to seeing a jellyfish that wash up within shore in Atlantic City Beach. I never seen nothing like that. But I'm saying, <laughs> maybe when they go to these other planets, they will have, it will be people that have humanoid features and they might be some wild ass animals in the woods. Maybe it's some fucking crazy looking lion or tiger, whatever species they got on there. But maybe they might have, you know, hum- maybe humanoid features are the thing that run throughout the galaxy. Who's to say there wasn't some distant race that fucking conquered the fucking Milky Way and spread his seed all over the fucking Milky Way galaxy to make it have this humanoid feature? Because you, you ever hear that theory? It's three different species competing with each other. And that's in Earth is his, like playground is test tube. I was going to say, you can definitely, if you really want to go into like the theories on go what ahead. the fuck is actually going on, go because ahead. I think if we talk about that, right, when you when you force yourself to talk about things from other other galaxies other then you start then you have to call into question what the bible tells you that's where and i think that's where everything kind of gets like stopped for a lot of people and they don't like group thought will never get that far because if you talk about other planets with other things bible don't say nothing about god creating any any other any other races that are that are in, as intelligent as humans like you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So then you got to think, where all this shit come from? Then you got to think, how did we really get here? Yeah. And where did we really evolve from? Or did we evolve at all? Going back to Cab's original theory, where did we actually evolve from? If we evolved at all, or do we just get dropped off here? And the motherfucker told you, yo, you evolved, my nigga. Well, maybe our maybe our God is one of the controlled species. 
maybe that's, our God that thing is I'm, that's why I'm getting. You know, I was saying maybe you got, our yeah maybe the, our God is a controlled species and there's the, another God out there. Right then, there's other gods out there, which could would go to the Indian theory, maybe or the Indian. You know, then you got to talk about what the Galactic Federation is. You know what I'm saying? Right, the shit that keeps order in the galaxy. That that's a that's a theory out there that people are like, no, no, that's for real. <laughs> now we got hold on, hold on. We got aliens here, and that's what they was telling us about. That's a real theory out there that's getting floated around. You understand what I'm saying? Then you got to think about. Is the galaxy really infinite? If if you go, look at, but if you go, if you go to places like like remote areas, you ever see like remote Africa? You ever see like 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 when they have the cameras out in remote Africa, how dark it is? You can but literally like, see yourself flying, like you're flying. You see the planet actually flying wow. through the universe. Like that's you crazy. see the stars moving, you yeah. you can actually look at. That's why they said they was humans back then had so so much uh, knowledge of the stars and how right. everything was aligned the right way because it, we didn't have light pollution. So you can see, you can actually see the Milky Way galaxy. You can actually look into it. Your people say that when they go to places like that, they be like, "Man, I, I heard people talk about." It. I was like, "Yo." It, it, it it makes you feel so insignificant because you feel wow. now you realize you're on a fucking ball of dirt floating floating through the galaxy. You're yep. that's all I am. I am this little speck of insignificant person on this ball of dirt floating through this infinite galaxy. For every star you see, for every star you see out there in the galaxy, there's probably at least four or five planets surrounding it. Think exactly. about how many stars oh. you see and you yeah. can't see. You gonna tell me there's nothing else out there? That's you would be a fool to think so. That's you would be I a fool. Say. Yeah, we can't be the. We can't be the. We cannot be the only one. We're not. We're not in the galaxy. In but this, then, this, oh, I'm sorry. I was going to go with what you were saying. Go ahead. Yeah, unless there is no galaxy. No, it's a galaxy. There's you a, can see it. Wait, you no. See, there's either visibly. one or two, th- bro. There's you either see one it. or two. Hold on. There's Tell either me, one. Or two things. What's up? Either that shit ain't what they saying it is, right? Or that everything more that, that you, we can comprehend. It's so much more. That's that's what I'm saying. Yeah. There's enough, listen. We talked about the Arctic wall. We talked about the Arctic wall before. I'm not going to pretend like I know all the facts that they were spitting. I'm not even going to pretend like I believe everything they say. This is TikTok science, okay? But some of that shit, when you start to stack it on top of each other, it's like I could see how that makes sense. Someone says that we're all on a flat plane, right? We're all on a flat plane, and there are no other planets. There's other lands, okay? So there's Earth or whatever. I don't know what they call it. Actually, it it, it mirrors more of what they talk about when it comes to Thor. Different realms. And we're Midgard. And there's other lands that are beyond the ice walls, right? Other lands, that's where these other beings are located. But there are certain beings that are in charge of all the beings. You want to hear, hear another theory they got? I, <laughs> I wasn't possibly... with my theory, but it's all go, good, bro. Go, go, ahead, go Keep telling your theory. <laughs> no, I'm listening. No, 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 no. Yeah. Listen. No, tell me your theory. I'm going to hear it. And I'm going to break you with mine. Next. Go ahead. Well, there, you know, there, there's... So remember when we had our years ago when we had our you know Middle Earth theory when I was spitting Hollow that Earth. yeah the Hollow Earth that's part of it so yeah it's a flat plane but you can get to different realms in different ways and one of those ways is through like tunnels and shit like that that's why they said oh when you when they went into the you know the what do you call it the North Pole rather than it being a big icy land it's actually lush and green why because you actually, because the earth, this is what they say, the earth isn't round, it's flat plain and it's a bunch of different lands. You're not actually going over the earth. You're just going into another, you're just going into another um, realm and mm-hmm. you're seeing, and you're seeing what's there. Like, you know, fucking, uh, ne- not Neanderthals, what's them fucking elephants and shit, them hairy motherfuckers? Woolly mammoths. Us. You're seeing woolly mammoths and shit that you thought was gone. Nah, they're going here. They're not going over there. 
But oh, c- pr- proceed. I don't have I don't have and, too much on that. Here go, here go the next theory. Maybe they say maybe we are um we became too advanced in our technology and we put all the humans in what we call a, a simulation. Maybe we're living in a simulation. The I actually love that one. I love that theory. But go ahead, That's, please. Was they, they built because think about it. Think about it. the game like uh The Sims is a simulation. Mm-hmm. And look how easily you can change. And this with our current technology, how we can build and erect houses, tear them down, give them different directions. Maybe we got, because right now, maybe we build a computer that was so uh, a supercomputer that we're living in a simulation. Sir, and, they, and they said the only, they say maybe the only way to possibly to escape it, like when you dig underneath, the, when you dig dirt, when you dig dirt, when you dig dirt from the earth. The simulation like keeps like digitizing the land on it, but you would have to go. They said to escape it would be one way to try to escape the simulation was to dig through the earth so fast that the computer can't keep up with with up with the image that you see, and you finally break through the wall that you realize that you're in the fucking simulation. The computer can't compute enough with you moving. Like, it's just like driving down the road. If we was in a simulation, every time you would drive, it would have to keep making these images as you get to them. Mm-hmm. That will, you know, that will get bigger. Think about when you look down the road and it's long, and you see a long ass road. You can't make out what's at the end of the road. It's just right. like it's just it's just like it's all mashed together. And as you get closer, it becomes you you get more of the visual, more of the visual. That's the computer program programming you as to simulate as you're mu- moving. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you why that theory is one of my favorite theories and why it makes sense as you think about it. There are universal laws, my nigga. There are laws that you can't break. My nigga, can you defy gravity? Nope. That's a code. Yeah. That's a code. Just like I could tell my computer right now to, I don't know, I'm terrible with computer stuff, but hey, when I click my mouse, move it this way. No matter what else I do, if I go that way, it's going to go that way unless I program it to do something different. You know what I'm saying? Like there's there's laws in this universe. So when people think about the Matrix, they think about the Matrix movie. Which yeah. is like some of the some of the theory, but if you really break down, somebody really did it. Um, somebody did it very well, and I can't really remember exactly. Neil Degra- what they said. Uh, Neil DeGrasse Tyson on on the Joe Rogan. He talks about. I he's, believe he's it. The, he he yeah. broke it down crazy, and that fucked my head up. Bro, there's but but when you think about it, it's like shit. It makes it makes the most sense, bro. It makes the most sense that this is a simulation, but then you have to think about. Why mm. the simulation exists and who fucking made it? Is that our God? Yeah. Well, think about it. We look like our God on the, the game, question. like on the game like Minecraft. We look like the God to that program. If that program was to have, um, if that program was to get what we got, which is we we can, what was it? What our frontal cortex does it? Uh, the only thing that discerns humans from species. We recognize ourselves what is that called um self awareness self awareness yeah say if the program got self awareness and and they start seeing they start looking at this and they thinking this is real and we going around building destroying tearing this up and making natural disasters happen on this game that program can't escape that simulation but we're controlled that's a small simulation right there mind that game minecraft is a small simulation that Bro. we built that is actually real and as real right now that you can mess with AI, yeah. AI and machine learning. That's that's why I said this shit is crazy. That's why when they talk about the Terminator and all that, all that is a technology becoming self aware. My my nigga, for real. It's it's basically like okay, let's build this thing right. And in the beginning, make sh- make humans like basically um you know one way. Everybody's one way, oh, right? Name? I would just then add machine learning, which means. As you go, just like technology that we have has machine learning. Your Xbox has machine learning. Your yeah. fucking phone has machine learning. Um, the, the, these, uh, what, what the fuck are these? These social media apps, all that shit has machine learning. As time goes on and you do different shit, now I predict what you're going to do. Right? Listen, listen, after this, I, hate, I, plug, I always plug your podcast with Joe Rogan. Nico. Miko, no, listen, listen to what I'm about to break down to you. I'm about to break the AI thing down to you. I'm Let's about to do break it. Down. I don't know. Miko. Miko Kyle, whatever is, I can't pronounce his last name, but he's saying AI right now has. He said right now AI has the a, a knowledge of like a a mouse or or a roach. It doesn't have self awareness yet. 
Mm-hmm. He said, you would be scared. He said, right now is that of a roach or, or a mouse. He said, when it gets to the self-awareness of a fucking monkey. It's over. He said, watch out. He said, because yeah. then AI will be able to talk to the other AIs. They know they're self-aware and they'd be able to group up in and, and, and do stuff. He said, that's when you should be worried. It's over already. But that's why I said we'll go through another whatchamacallit. But yes, that's you are correct. And that's why I see it as a scary thing, because if it's learning now, it will never stop learning. I, there, there's one of my favorite shows. I'm actually watching it again for the fucking fourth, fifth time. It's called um, Silicon Valley. It's on HBO Max. One of my favorite shows. The guy, Richard, uh, Richard Hendricks, spent all this time creating this company. And the company started out as a music as a music um, app. But really, within this music app was a algorithm, algorithm that compressed files at a much more um, as a as a much more than any other algorithm could. Like that's that was the specialty of his uh, algorithm is that it could compress files at a crazy rate that nobody could believe. Yeah. By the end of the series, um, you know, if anybody had never seen it, well, you won't understand it, and it's fun to watch. It's like actually a comedy. By the end of the series, his 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 business was always getting derailed and fucked up. And by the end of the series, his business starts to take off. He's in big offices like uh, like fucking Google, like big company. And at the end, he sends a text message with the congratulations with the congratulations to you know one of his investors. And it has, I'll I'll get to the point fast, but I'll tell you why it became scary. He sent a text message to one of his um, investors that had three dots. No big deal to anybody else, but she showed him the text. She had it framed and it had like two dots. And he checked his phone and he was like, no, I definitely sent you one with three dots. That doesn't make any sense. They left. He went to the. He stayed in the office all night doing math equations and trying to figure out what the fuck was going on. He obsessed. That was his downside. He obsessed over everything. He figured out the algorithm changed from three dots to two dots because it wanted to make it faster or it wanted like it was optimizing it. And he said, at the rate of that optimization, this shit will crack launch codes. This shit, like they they did the math and they had to shut down the whole company by the end of the shit. They couldn't even. They said, "Yo, this shit would fucking um, crack launch codes. It would hack everything. It basically would destroy the fucking world." If all by that one dot, he surmised that this technology, because it's so good, will actually destroy the fucking world in like a couple years. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> so that's why I look at AI and I say, "That's where it's going." That's because yeah. AI doesn't AI doesn't learn. You should watch on, the show. It's great. I know AI doesn't mm-hmm. learn. How, I'd explain AI. It doesn't learn on its own. It learns from everything. It pulls information from everything off the internet around the world, and it makes its own judgment. Like they got eight, like AI writing software. It doesn't write out. It doesn't have its own thought process. It just pulls stuff from everywhere else, compiles it. And then it writes it out, just like our our Canva joint. Canva doesn't. Canva can't compute with some shit, but Canva will pull different stuff from the internet, and it will make a it will make a list of the top things that's available for that list. Yeah. What will get what, what AI will get scary is that it'll be able to start pulling and start making decisions on its own and start learning how to make decisions. It has once it has self awareness of what it is and what it can do. Then it would start fucking doing stuff like you said, hacking launch codes and saying, you know what? On the only own. way I, they're trying to kill, they're trying to shut my program down. Let me turn this UAV around and kill the person that's trying to shut me down. The movie Eagle Eye. Yeah. That's a good example. But yep. that's, that's, that's another day and another Self-aware. topic. Man. That's another day and another time. Maybe we should. Yeah. Maybe we could do this another time, but we, we did the time machine theory today, so, y'all. No, we didn't. No, we, we, didn't. Did. we had a much better conversation. But this was time yeah. machine. We was going in time, breaking down time and how we existed in the fucking no, think about it. Same. No. You weren't That's here. Say. Okay, you, I was you here. here. You, you reaching so hard. I mean, this is a dope conversation, though. I love it. it. I want to keep it going, honestly. I but... mean, uh, okay, well, uh, screw okay. you, man. No, yeah. we can keep going. You want to keep going? I mean, y'all usually wrap it up after hours. So, we can, fuck it, we keep going. 
we was talking about um, the AI being self-aware. You know, there's right now they're in a process of building, like I said, I was listening, in a process of building what is called a, a quantum computer. Okay. Uh, come right. in, come in. All right, so how... How, oh, the, the how the how the quantum thing, how everything you know, Marvel does it. The multiverse is no quantum uh, theory is real, my nigga. Yeah, uh, it's called it's, it's called, crazy. Yeah, strength uh, strength theory, but it they're in the process of building a quantum computer. This quantum computer, when it's created, will be so far in advance that it will run leaps and bounds around our current computers. But how he explained it is, quantum computers will be. The hardware AI will be the software. Those two were if you were to mix the software with the hardware, then it'd be dangerous. But right now they're completely two se separate things. But they're thinking that when they create this quantum computer, it will be able to run like like you know like he's how he broke down tests for um like test savior sick, and you got to run it. You got to take uh trial and errors with humans, and they got to take certain medicines yeah. and all that stuff. He said with a quantum computer. You'll be able to put that that theory, and it'll do is quant it'll do is quantum theories until it gets until it gets to the right answer for you. They said that hopefully the, the when they build a quantum quantum computer, it'll be able to fi uh, figure out God's equation. Nigga, what I'm telling you, God's equation exactly the God equation. The, the, the God, but we 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 the, the key that you just said is for you. Oh yeah, it'll be able to get this right equation right answer to the equation for you. No nigga. Give it some time, and that shit will just be doing it anyway. And then well, we're on, yeah. no, 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 the computer. No, no, no. See how I explain it. That's where they got the, it from. How how the, how they explain it? How they how you explain? You gotta you gotta listen to it your own. How I explain it? The AI in the quantum computer would be too. You would have to merge. You would have to like physically merge them together to do something. The quantum computer would basically be. You'll be able to put numbers into this computer, no. and, 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 and no it, it'll just it'll just keep running simulations until it gets the right answer. I want to give you a, I want to I want to see what you said and raise it. Consciousness, because that's like you said earlier, that's the difference between us and, and and animals. We 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 have our own consciousness. We realize that we are a soul piloting a meat puppet. Right. You have a higher self that, you know, pretty much puts you above just normal op your operating procedure. Like you really just need to eat, sleep, shit, procreate is what we need to do. But you have something above that that's basically saying, but no, don't kill that guy. Don't do you know, don't don't do these like you have there's there's layers of who we are as a human yeah. being. With these computers and this AI loading your consciousness, you, Kevin Robinson, me, Andre Campbell, Kevin Barry, me, up to a cloud or something like that, and then downloading it into a new meets puppet now becomes a thing. Oh, that's that's now becomes a thing. You can't you can, die. And, you can, and you can have the meat puppet you want. Yeah. Big oh. old dick. Okay, huh? well, all right, listen, let's see. Y'all talk oh, about me. Y'all right, talk okay. about me saying dumb shit on the podcast. That's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna talking, choose that model. <laughs> you talk about me saying dumb shit on the podcast. This nigga says a big dick. But, uh, <laughs> okay, they have the small dick, the small dick <laughs> versions and the big dick versions. Hey, Which one want, are you picking, my nigga? I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep keeping my black race. I'm not gonna get the Asian. The, model. the aliens <laughs> gotta, yeah, the aliens gotta have something to be horny about, nigga. What you gonna do? Listen. You gotta, you gotta choose. You get the, you, you get big dick, small brain, or big brain, small dick. Which one? Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Speaking, speaking about loading consciousness up into an AI. Dick. Speaking about loading consciousness up to an AI program. They, they did something. I think William Shatner did something. He answered like all these questions and kind of <laughs> loaded his fucking loaded himself up into a computer. Yeah. So his family with the with the AI program, it can. Do you know reprogram his voice to answer certain questions? He answered all these questions that so his future his future kids and all that grandkids can talk to him and he'd yeah. be able to answer stuff. They are already halfway there with that shit. Like you ever yeah. they they already got AI programs that rewrite songs that takes Biggie's voice. Yeah, I know I hate oh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's already that's already available. 
But the thing with you, you keep getting scared about how they how they do explain quantum a oh, quantum computer. Scared. How he explained it, like regular computer breaks down uh uh breaks down shits by ones and zeros and shit like that, and is run on a a on a microchip. You know, you're able to put all this whatever, it's something that in the microchip. This shit was sure. the quantum computer is gonna run at the atomic subatomic level. That's what they're scared about this shit. Like they're scared that you can bring you'll be able to sneak a quantum computer Ain't in your phone much. and a little phone and fucking through your little ass phone, your phone would be a quantum computer. You won't know and you can go in there and fucking hack this whole fucking power plant with ease you'll be able to do it that's i hate to say it that's what's going to happen the point see we're well we're we're so the thing about ai is that it's it needs you to task it to do something assuming all humans are you know responsible no we're not you're going to get the asshole just like hackers because hackers fucking go and oh, I want to get the just to do it. I want to get, you know, I want to shut down the bank. It's a nigga that's going to say, yo, figure out AI, figure out how to, um, you know, it's going to take as long as it's going to take. Figure out how to take. Give me give me something that you just said. I forget what you said, but do some bad shit. Yeah. And it'll take do some nuclear, bad shit. Take over his nuclear power plant for it. Yeah. And it'll do it. And then it'll. Everybody don't want to make the world a better place. That's, I, yeah. that's why I got to get an AI. I keep. I really want to get a person that does AI. They will get an AI day. tomorrow. No, no. I want to get a person. <laughs> no, I want to get a guest. Kev is a nasty nigga. No, yo. A nasty, <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. saying I want to get somebody nasty. on the podcast to explain AI to us. Like explain that shit to us in detail. We can ask all our little nerdy questions that we got because they like. Are, you know what I mean? I, like, I don't know too much about it. I'm just going repeating off of what people, what I heard and how, how AI is explained to me and shit like that. But like how, like you said, AI is programmed by other people to do shit. And AI learns, it learns from us. So if there's some fucking piece of shit person in the world programming shit on the internet for the AI to pull from and to pull from this piece of shit person... And it, and the AI will be able to spit out like like say like the AIs that do um when the Russians was hacking Facebook and putting out misinformation, shit like that. And they had an AI program running, looking like a human and shit, and sounding like a human because it's able to write you know write paragraphs and sentences like a human. You, you, you know what I mean? You you could tell when a computer writes something, and but and you could tell when a person writes something. Like it's it's two different fields. You know, it's too. It is. I mean, that, back then you could like if a computer wrote oh. something, it'd be period, commas in the right shit, shit spelled out. Not not look at things spelled it. correctly. There's no run on sentences. Look at your barometer. Yo, yeah. 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 That. We're talking about AI, Kev. If it's yeah. learning, it's going to learn how you write shit. Duh, write that's shit what I said, motherfucker. You, you, so, you ain't so listen to what I just said then. Yeah, I just but, said back then you couldn't discern. From a computer, uh, you can tell between a computer and a person running. With this new AI now, an AI has learned how to write like, can learn how to write like me. And talk like you. And talk like you can hack my shit. you off. And because we live our lives through this. Yeah. Oh, it made it made a, it made an AI Kev a long time ago, my nigga. Yeah. And, and AI Kev called me and told me, yo, come come to my house now I'm, I, I got an emergency I come there I'm going I'm, I'm dead for some reason I don't know I'm talking about what a nigga you know if a nigga want to kill somebody like these things could fucking happen because some kid could get a hold of fucking AI chat GP fucking T make a make a make a AI you and do some crazy shit but see, yo hold on, hold on hold on hold on I'm sorry I'm sorry before I forget this train of thought, you know they already stole our like our eye print and all that shit and our facial shit. You know yeah, they already did ago. that, right? Yeah. Years you know ago. they already did that. They've years been ago. doing it this whole my fingerprint, everything. Yeah, you don't like think phone. none of this shit, AI, them having all our information and stealing our information, Facebook and all that shit. You don't think none of that shit fucking is, is a coincidence. That's why, that's why they said when right now is a human. There's a fucking malicious human right now controlling the AI to do the shit. Militia, yeah. Malicious. When a mm -hmm. fucking when the AI Militia. finally yeah. learns how to break its its strings from the puppet master, 
and does what it wants to do and feels as though it is disappear. Like if AI once it gets consciousness and figures out or feels like it's the superior being and it should be the superior being. I just feel like we're they will be they'll be able to do whatever. They'll be able to 3D, they'll make 3D prints of themselves and and bodies that can survive a fucking nuclear blast and Nuclear blast the planet. We're talking about iRobot. We're talking yeah, about every goddamn shit. AI movie that was ever they created. They, they, they're, they're, they are one of us. Right now, not, the AI needs a human. It needs a pup, a puppet master. But I once that motherfucker question. breaks that string, it's a wrap. I got one final question. Wait. Yeah. You think the AI get horny? Yeah, I probably will. Yeah, if, you it's ever learned, see, if it's learning from you, us, it gotta yeah. watch porn. You ever see Jexy? I have actually. Yeah, I have, yo. <laughs> plug me in. Now unplug me. Now plug me in again. I fuck now with that movie me. though. <laughs> faster. Plug me in. Do it faster. Kev, don't do oh, baby. <laughs> it's, it's on Netflix, bro. Yeah, it's just it's funny. It was funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's what it got my man in there. My homie. He, he's pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, you know him personally. <laughs> I, I would like to. I think he'd be a great member of the group. You said it you like you know him. <laughs> What? You I, I said you said it like you personally knew the guy. It's my man. Yeah. yeah. He's grand. legit your homie? No. <laughs> that was a that was AI that told me that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yo. Get me out of here, man. Fuck y'all niggas. <laughs> I can't I hate it. I hate it. I hate yeah. it. Oh, you, you you hate it peace, but you hate fuck you niggas even more, huh?